Hello everyone, welcome to the Green Man channel, hope you're all good and well. So time for an album review this Sunday. This time I'm reviewing some black metal from the UK. This is a band called Fen with their seventh studio album, Monuments to Absence, which came out via Prophecy Productions last week on Friday, the 7th of July. And the album is eight tracks and it's around about an hour and 10 minutes in length. Um, so this band actually get their name from the Fens, which is a naturally marshy region of the UK. Um, so just a bit of UK geography for you, for any of, the, for any of you that are maybe interested in that. Um, and they just have three band members, uh, each with their kind of own nicknames. They're one of those kind of bands. You've got Frank Alain, who is also known as The Watcher on vocals and guitars and synth here. Adam Alain, or Grungin, is on bass and vocals. And then they have a drummer who goes by the initials JG. Um, who's new to the band as well, um, I believe, for this particular album. So this is some pretty stirring, gloomy black metal. The band themselves actually described this album as an expression of anger, hopelessness and despair, um, which feels pretty appropriate for what you're going to get for the hour plus of this material here. And I guess they're sort of bemoaning the state of humanity in a way, you know, lots of metal bands do that and this is no different here. And um, you know what, it's it's a pretty solid hour plus listen. I mean, given that it is an hour plus, I do think the album does a pretty good job of putting in a range of, um, you know, tempos and elements. So you're not too bored. Although I would point out in a couple of the longer tracks, I did find myself slightly kind of wondering, you know, when the track was going to sort of find its sort of best moments. Um, but there was still enough here I felt to enjoy overall. Um, so let's get into some of the tracks from this release by Fen. So you start with um, Scouring Ignorance, which is a strong opening track to the album, and it's one of the shorter tracks that sets the tone quite well. Monuments to Absence is the second track, and this is the title track, or Monuments to Absence rather, and this is the title track. I thought this was a really good longer track. And the vocalist, um, Frank Elaine, I think, does have does sound a bit like Rutal Kjelsen of Enslaved with his harsh vocal style, um, which is really kind of, that's got that really guttural sound, but it's really effective. Um, and I really like the way that the vocals are used on this particular song as well. And the other thing I like about this song is the variety of tremolo riffing that's going on. It's quite melodic. It's really, really good. And I really enjoy that title track. Thrall is... A slightly more mid-paced track. It's got kind of this really interesting riff that suddenly kind of gets heavy and pretty stonery in the middle of the track and it really kind of crushes and it's a very cool riff with some faint clean vocals that the band used from time to time on this album. Now I have to say this actually I really liked some of the clean vocals on this album but the way I think it must be the way they were mixed in because what I'm listening to it doesn't always feel like the clean vocals have as much presence as the harsh vocals. And I think on this album, the clean vocals should have the same presence because they're really good. And it's like, I'm thinking to myself, when those moments come into this album, not just in Thrall, I think, but in other songs as well, it's like, you know, why, why isn't it loud? Why can't I hear it really loud? Because it sounds great, what I'm listening to, but it's not having the impact it should have. And uh, so, so Thrall was maybe a slight example of that. I would say Truth is Futility is another sort of example of that, although when there's actually a vocal harmony in that track, this is the fifth track on the album, and that actually brings out the cleaner vocal strengths a little bit more, I think, because you have two vocals coming together there. Um, and yeah, I mean, Truth is Futility, the next track I actually want to talk about, because it starts with this sort of dark blend of synth and guitar, but then it kind of builds into the, like, this blast beat section. Um, and then you get the sort of, for me, the beautiful vocal moments, uh, one of the beautiful vocal moments on the album with that vocal harmony coming to the fore. Um, and, you know, it's another pretty, pretty good track that has this strange break in the middle, though, that I found I can see what they're doing because they're creating atmosphere and they're in a, more of a sort of atmospheric kind of black metal band. But for me, that sort of broke actually some of the momentum um, from the earlier portion of the track and what that did. And so when it got, you know, faster again, it just felt like, mm, you know, it's, it doesn't feel quite the same as the track did at the start for me. 
So that's uh, Truth is Futility, but still a good track. I mean, still pretty good stuff here. Um, another track I quite like was Escherton's Gift, with some really good guitar work again here, some inventive riffing, um, and it never sort of ever feeling that the track was kind of becoming too one-dimensional at any time. I liked that track quite a bit. There is a bit of an enslavedness, you know, about this album. I feel that there's definitely an influence there going on with some of these songs. All is lost is the is the final track on the album, and this this is for me maybe the album's highlight. It sort of does take a while to build into the final track. It all starts with all these clean guitars, but it's the way it builds up that I like, and it builds to a really great sort of you know climax at the end of the song. Again, you get some slightly cleaner vocals coming in, but you know again I wish they were just you know that bit louder just to bring out their presence uh, in the song a bit more um but a pretty fitting album closer and a really good one as well that i i thoroughly enjoyed and the vocalist um at the very end he sort of you know builds on his vocal by letting out this more anguished moment of screaming i think and it just sounds fantastic it's a really kind of the icing on the cake um, to a pretty, you know, as I say, a pretty solid album. I mean, I have to say, I thought this album had real potential to it. Like, it felt like um could have benefited from a touch of trimming. Because over an hour long for this kind of an album, I do feel is quite difficult to fully uh, invest yourself in and really enjoy from start to finish. The other thing I would say is, like I say, some of the album lacks the presence it deserved to have. And that's a mixing thing, I think, rather than the music itself that was there, that was good. So overall, I'm between a seven and an eight with this one. I do think it's, you know, for those of you that like the more atmospheric side of black metal, I think you'll enjoy this. So I'm going to give this a 7.5 as my final score out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this album review. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel and, you know, you want to follow, and uh, don't forget to click on the sub button so that you get future reviews and future videos on this channel as well as doing album reviews of mostly rock and metal i do some stuff relating to sci-fi horror and fantasy as well so until next time everybody take care bye for now